What do you care about? I care about the big problems facing my generation and hers. I care about protecting our planet from climate change and our rivers from single-use plastics. So there's a world worth growing up in. Don't want to end up like him. I care about everyone getting an education because we wouldn't be here today without a scholarship. I care about treating and preventing cancer like the cancer we lost beautiful Laura to. I care about young people's mental health. Because no one should have to face anxiety or depression alone. And I care about families fleeing war and violence. 
So here at the University of Birmingham, we are taking action on these five big challenges. But we need you. You can help our trees to help us all breathe easier. You can help take action on cancer to find the right treatment for every patient. You can help find treatments for anxiety and depression. You can help communities support refugee families. And you can support essential scholarships and share your expertise as a mentor. So young people like me can go to university. And me. And, and me. me. And me. So tell us which matters the most to you. It's time to take action for our generation and the next. I attended the IEP Summer School in 2017 now and it was the best week ever. I remember Ansar telling us at the beginning of the week that it was going to be the best five days and it really was. I met some people on that summer school that I ended up being best friends with for until now to this day. The ambassadors that have come on to be at university with me, we're really, really close. I had a mentor at the AEP Summer School and me and her now are still really close as well. well overall, it's just made me a much well-rounded person and just looking back on those days now on graduation day, I can't believe how long ago it was. Hi guys, my name is Neve Wilson and I'm on AEP this week. I'm on the humanities stream wanting to study psychology at Birmingham. Um, so I'm going to be doing vlogs throughout the week, so I hope you enjoy it. We can do it and we're on this program for that particular reason and if it wasn't for many of the people in this room we wouldn't be given that opportunity. And so I'd like to thank every single one of you for giving all of us young people the chance to reach our potential and even further if we want to, if we want to work in, we can do it. On A-Level Results Day, I was ecstatic. I remember going to sixth form instead of looking on UCAS in the morning, so I didn't want to know if I got in or not. I wanted to get my results first. I remember opening the envelope with my dad, who's here on campus with me today, and it was just like that thank you moment of just all the hard work and all the all-nighters and everything paying off finally. So that was an amazing day. It's I Love a Results Day and I've just collected my results. I got the grades that I needed to get into Birmingham, so I'm so excited to be starting my psychology degree in October. I just thought I'd take this opportunity to thank all the sponsors that supported the summer school that I attended last year, as it was such an amazing experience and I met some lifelong friends there. And I just want to thank you all for your support in enabling students like me to be able to attend Birmingham. The bursary actually enabled me to be able to uh, travel from here back to Bromsgrove and from Bromsgrove to here as often as I needed to in first year, uh, which was kind of essential because it was around the time at the same time that my mum was ill with the stroke. And so I was also like needed quite a lot at home. It enabled me to be able to take her shopping and take her out and do all the things that maybe my dad was struggling to do, trying to run a business and a household and stuff. So that bursary enabled me to just be there when I was needed to, whenever it was whenever what time it was it didn't matter so that was really amazing it was my uh, first week in a sixth form my brand new sixth form that I just started and my mum unfortunately suffered a stroke and you kind of learn from quite a young age that the world doesn't stop just because something bad happens you know it carries on and that's where you know the A to B program kind of levels the playing field it's just bringing us back up to where we would have been if life would have given us the same opportunities as everybody else being able to have um, the freedom that the scholarship gave me when I started uni, I was able to move into halls and I was very aware that 
I was going to struggle because I knew that my mum needed my support in that time. But I also really wanted to have the experience to get into uni and get in, in halls and meeting new people. And so having that scholarship gave me the ability to get like a, an annual train pass to back and forth to Bromsgrove. So it really gave me that opportunity to just be there when I needed to. So I've been a part of the mentor scheme this past year at uni and uh, my mentor Paul, unfortunately we haven't been able to meet up in person due to Covid but we've been able to have Zoom sessions every other Friday and it's given me that structure that I've really needed this year due to having online lectures it's kind of been that one thing in my diary that's stays the same. It's been life coaching, it's been career talks, it's been giving me self-confidence when I've been feeling a little bit down in the dumps. It's just been that thing that's really like pulled it all together and made me crack on over the weekend that coming after it. It's just been perfect. So I couldn't thank him enough. It's been absolutely amazing. I would say a massive thank you to all of the alumni that have supported students like me. Without the scheme, I definitely wouldn't be here. I wouldn't be stood here in my robes graduating. You know, I've made myself really proud and I've put in the hard work, but it's with the support of the alumni that's enabled me to do that. So just a massive thank you, really.
I declare the congregation open. Good evening. Uh, a round of applause, please, for our wonderful student musicians. <laughs> Deputy Pro Chancellor, distinguished guests, members of the university, family members, friends, and especially graduates, a very warm welcome to you all on this wonderful occasion one of the first degree congregations we've been able to hold in this most magnificent of settings in the Great Hall since 2019. A big welcome also to those of you who are unable to join us in person and are watching online on our live stream around the world. Graduands, today you graduate from a university with a long and proud story. It's a story founded on the vision of Joseph Chamberlain in 1900 to provide a university for the people of Birmingham, a great school of universal instruction, taking all knowledge in its province. We were the first UK university to offer degrees in social work. And over the last 50 years, we've developed unrivaled expertise in local government studies including deep links with local and devolved authorities in the region and beyond. Indeed, this is a university that has always sought to teach, to test, to extend and to apply knowledge in the broadest range of disciplines, a breadth illustrated throughout this very building. Outside, the friezes beneath the domes depict engineering, metallurgy and music. Behind me, the spectacular south window which the dark doesn't do justice to, portrays commerce, medicine, the arts, physics, and more. This great hall itself has a remarkable story. When it was opened in 1909 by King Edward VII, it was described as the greatest glory of this, the original civic red brick university. Its story encompasses not only 100 years of examinations, graduations, and prestigious functions, but also service as a military hospital during the First World War, as an emergency gym in the second, and most recently as a COVID testing facility. The global pandemic has impacted all of our lives in ways that we could never have imagined two years ago. Graduands, you have all adapted, persevered, shown more resilience, ingenuity, and tenacity than any graduating cohort this hall has seen. We are proud that you have overcome all of the challenges to achieve your degree. In a world where inequalities have been deepened by the pandemic, where the vulnerable have become more so, and international cooperation on health care seems a distant memory, your skills and insights have never been more in demand. Now, before I continue, I want to say a few words about one of your cohort, Sophia Pandal, who sadly cannot be with us here today. Sophia joined our BA social work course after a period working as a recovery specialist for the RAC and as a health advisor. She came to us via the access to social work course at Dudley College and was thrilled to be at Birmingham, where she said she had found her niche. Her practice educator in her first placement at the Black Country Women's Aid described her as an outstanding student. Sadly, Sophia passed away on the day that she was due to start her final placement. Sophia was the proud mother of two children, Asher and Levy, and we're very pleased to welcome them and her family to celebrate her many achievements. It will be a family member who collects Sophia's certificate later on in the ceremony. I would also like to acknowledge the contribution of one of our graduating students today, Courtney Stevenson. If you're there, Courtney. While she was completing our MA in Global Public Policy, Courtney organized events that represent one of the first comprehensive efforts to integrate climate change concerns across the discipline of social policy. Courtney is going on to continue this work at the cross-party think tank, Demos, and we wish you every success. 
But the truth is, graduates, that you can all apply skills and share insights gained in your degree because you're all extraordinary people. That's why we're here to celebrate your achievements. You studied at the University of Birmingham because you wanted to be part of a great place of learning, to test yourself, to equip yourself for the next phase of your life. Your experience of studying over the last couple of years will not have been what you were expecting. But you stand here today having overcome all barriers and having achieved your goals nonetheless. Graduation day is a day to tell stories, the individual stories of each of you, the students of all ages, backgrounds and nationalities who animate this great university. Behind each of the names that we read out today is an individual chapter written into the history of the university. And it's a chapter that has also been made possible through the continued support and tireless dedication of all those who join us today in the Great Hall, as well as others spread around the world. We're delighted to welcome family and friends, parents, children, and partners to celebrate this important moment in your lives. The best things are always achieved together with others, even if the final push was yours alone. So today marks the end of one kind of relationship with the university and the start of another. Today you become members of a distinguished family, a family with over 350,000 members in more than 170 countries around the world, the alumni of the University of Birmingham. Our alumni engage in an astonishing array of projects and professions, and we look forward to witnessing your own professional achievements and successes being added to the list in the years to come. Do stay in touch and tell us what you are up to, wherever life takes you. We will always be pleased to welcome you, especially if that provides an opportunity to share your experiences and learning with future generations of students. You and those who are with you have many reasons to be proud today. We share in that pride and I will take great pleasure as I now admit you to your degrees. Thank you. Pro Vice-Chancellor, to you and to the University, I present the names of these graduates as listed in my programme, both in attendance and in absentia, proved worthy to be admitted to their respective degrees. By virtue of my authority as conferring officer, I admit those persons listed in the programme to the degree for which they are to be presented. Tia Bennett. Alice Emily Cousins. Alice Anna Gawthorpe. Poppy Jem Jemima Hempel. <laughs> Maria Collis Schuyler. <laughs> Julia Merzak. <laughs> Jean. 
Jessica Elizabeth Partridge. <laughs> Ellen Stella Catherine Wilding. <laughs> and from the School of Government for Master of Science in Public Management, Luke George Bradbury. Siki Dong. <laughs> Matthew Follows. <laughs> Lady Longshore. <laughs> Taro Tang. Si Chang So. <laughs> Yueo Jang. <laughs> Yat Sing Jang. <laughs> Rong Zhao. For the degree of Master of Science in Public Management and Leadership, Isaac James Giorno. John English. Master of Science, Sally Giles. <laughs> Catherine Elizabeth Herbert. <laughs> School of Social Policy, Doctor of Philosophy, for research into factors which impact on young, young people's engagement with help, Simone Helleran. For research into foster care for unaccompanied children resettling, resettling in the UK, Roberto Osman. <laughs> Master of Arts, Advanced Practice, Leadership and Management for Social Work, Annette Richards. Um, Master of Arts in Global Public Policy, Naomi Farzi. <laughs> Lucy Parrish. <laughs> Nikita Soan. Courtney Stevenson. <laughs> the Master of Arts in Migration Studies, Emily Serena Edge. <laughs> Joyce Faze Supu. For a Master of Arts in Social Policy, Charlotte Ashley Davis. <laughs> Dr. 
Georgina Huxley. Eamon Patrick Kearney. Rosie Harriet Mann. Ellie Powell. Zara Qureshi. Afshar Shaman. Eva Freya Winter Spellman. MA in Social Research, Social Policy, Jensle Nirovsky. <laughs> Samuel Yarnell. <laughs> For the MA Social Research, Social Work and Professional Practice, Xi Zhang. For the MA in Social Work, Jacqueline Isaac Akena. Michaela Gabriella Dachu. Kaiser Louise Ellis. Georgina Poppy Elizabeth Geis. Sarah Jennings. Sheila Mazzozo. <laughs> Hilda Munjomo. <laughs> Megan Oricott. Kate Sherlicker. <laughs> Stessa Sibi. <laughs> Mary Elizabeth Stone. Tabisha Thompson. <laughs> Vandika Basil Saint Tululu. <laughs> Sean Tommy. Saba Wasim. <laughs> Emma Louise Wilkes. <laughs> Samuel David Williams. <laughs> Gabriella Willock.
for the degree of Master of Arts in Sociology, William Christopher Charles Cheetle. Elliot Peter George McDowell. Robin Jane Platt. Jake Tadiki. James Whitaker. For the degree of Master of Science Advanced Child Protection Studies, Sarah Louise Beerling. <laughs> Joanna Louise Flynn. <laughs> Holly Garrett. Andrea Griffin. <laughs> For the degree of healthcare policy and management, Rafaez Abdul Rani. <laughs> Shaima Youssef T. Alatapapi. Dorsa Gadriri Condordi. <laughs> Andrew Sunny. <laughs> For the degree of Master of Science in Healthcare and Policy Management, Managing Quality and Service Improvement, Sahik Mohammed. For the degree of Master of Science in Healthcare Leadership, Rachel MacDonald. <laughs> For the degree of Master of Science, Health and Care Systems Leadership, Joanna Sally Allen. <laughs> Lisa Jane Dawson. Sanjeet Johal. <laughs> Karishna Kalipur. <laughs> Jennifer Luke. <laughs> Amanda Karen Parker. Jasmine Wheatley. For the degree of Bachelor of Arts in Applied Social Studies, Peeling Leon. Sophia Maria Pandel. BA 
in Policy, Politics and Economics, Maisie Clegg. <laughs> Cody Rebecca Norfris. Bachelor of Arts in Social Policy, Ju Yong Song. <laughs> For Bachelor of Arts in Social Policy and Criminology, Amina Farquhar. For the degree of Bachelor of Arts in Social Work, Tegan A. Adcock. <laughs> Tamira Abdu Bohem Kwake. <laughs> Aksa Ahmad. Neelam Akhtar. <laughs> Lindsay Arnott. <laughs> Emma Sarah Beach. Jasmine Begum. <laughs> Carleen Campbell. <laughs> Jade Davis. <laughs> Ashley Deans. Eva Douglas. <laughs> Sophie Eyre. <laughs> Ju John William Jilks. Tayona Griffiths. <laughs> Chloe Jage Gullivan. <laughs> Maria Hussein. Aisha Islam. <laughs> Janat Khatun Janjay Janjua. <laughs> Bethany Jones. Suit Duke Kaur. <laughs> Jakija Lewis. <laughs> Hannah Maguire. Amber Simone Medina. <laughs> Louis Robert Gabriel Moore.
Aisha Anita Rahman Patel. Mason Luke Paul. Zara Zizik Zadik. Angel Smith. Grace Smith. Samantha Julia Smith. Natasha Stuttard. <laughs> Ulawayan Seng Cheo. <laughs> Zoe Elizabeth Williams. MBA Executive, Fazo Ahmed Sheikh. <laughs> oh, sorry. Apologies. Po big apologies, sorry. Um, for the BA Social Work Year Abroad, Seema Kulsar. MBA executive, is that the right one? That's all I've got. 71. South yeah. Forest. yeah. That, that's the one. Yeah. No, it's not. It's this one. <laughs> MA executive, Shah Faraz Firozo Ahmed Sheikh. For the degree of Master of Science Public Management, Lu Chu Hashueo. <laughs> the Master of Arts in Social Work, Aliyah Syra Hamilton. <laughs> Itunde Urakoya. Mariam Shag here. Sarah Salim. For the degree of Master of Science, Healthcare Policy Management, Managing Quality and Service Improvement, Vera Coley Wesley. For the Bachelor of Arts, Policy, Politics and Economics, Gemma, Jenna White. <laughs> For Bachelor of Arts, Social Policy and Criminology, Raise Hoot Hamid. <laughs> For the Bachelor of Arts in Social Work, Elizabeth Ajadi. It is with great pleasure that I introduce as the student representative to give a speech on behalf of the graduating cohort, Alicia Patel.
Good evening, family, friends, faculty, and especially graduating class of 2021. I am overwhelmed that we are all collated here today within this amazing venue to celebrate our success. When I was asked by the student experience team whether I wanted to do a speech, I felt a lot of mixed emotions, some consisting of shock, amazement, and horror. Another thing that always comes to mind that actually I was selected and then also given this honor today. I then wondered what I would write. I mentioned amazing, I could have mentioned, mentioned the amazing facilities and the excellent teaching and learning or the great support and guidance not only from the wellbeing team but also our tutors and academics. However, the advice I was given was to write about the university experience. I did not quite understand what this meant as our experience was not like those who had attended before us. I also wanted to incorporate your experiences, so I asked those of you attending today one question. What was the highlight of your university experience? The responses varied from nights out to great campus to the first time having the opportunity to live independently and acquire all those life skills. The main experience that shone through was a sense of belonging and friendships that you have all made during your time at university. An experience I also share. Some of you said that you have spoken to family and friends and the friends that you have made here more than anybody that you have had contact with. That is very something that's very special and as it provides a sense of family and community and these are the people who have you been drawn to especially in the past 18 months. The university experience is more than just the degree. It's all about connections and the, and the time that you have spent here. Through the experiences and connections, you have managed to achieve your degree, and I am sure you will agree you could not have done this journey alone. So what makes University Birmingham graduate special? Well, I can definitely assure you that you will find a University Birmingham graduate wherever you go. I already have four graduates in the team I am working currently. Almost instantly, I felt welcomed and supported. You are part of a university that provides world-class education, so be proud of being part of this alumni who are pioneers in their own specialist fields. You are a part of that history, and I am sure you also feel a sense of achievement. Moving on from the experiences, I know you will miss this amazing campus, but I know you will return with those of you who will one day continue your education journeys further. You are also welcome to visit the campus and offer your support through various opportunities that the university offer. I want to congratulate every single graduate sitting here today. Be immensely proud of what you have achieved at this university. The past three years have flown by, but I am sure you have learned a lot about yourself as I have. I am sure you all remember the late nights and the early morning lectures sitting behind your laptops in your pajamas getting used to the new methods of online learning. The frustration of technical issues which include 9.30 submissions and those last minute calls to friends on the course to, cl to clarify that you have done everything correctly. Regardless of this, you have shown immense amount of resilience, determination and courage to complete your studies and celebrate today. Your foundations have been set, your career goals are waiting for you, and you can even excel even higher. Seize the opportunities that come your way. Change can only happen when you challenge yourself. There are two quotes that often inspire me, both by Mahatma Gandhi. The first quote is, be the change that you, you wish to see in the world. And the second, live as if you were to die tomorrow and learn as if you were to live forever. I wish you all the very best in whatever you decide to do, and I hope you continue your journey with the same flair and positivity that you have shown through the journey at this great institution. I would like to thank a few people, as our success is not ours alone. It is an accumulation of a number of factors. First of all, I would like to thank God for the guidance he has shown me. Thank you to all our parents and friends and family for supporting us relentlessly. I know we would all like to thank our departments of social policy and social work as well as our lecturers, tutors, who had a mammoth task of ensuring that this day would arrive. The well-being team who also supported us and guided us through the providing times of timely extensions 
so that we could balance life, work and education. We will be remembered as our degrees were achieved through a global pandemic. We have had our fair share of adversities, especially for the BA Social Work cohort graduating today. It is slightly bittersweet. I would like to take a few moments to not only pay tribute, but to also celebrate the achievements of our dear friend, Sophia Pandel. Sophia started her journey with us three years ago, but sadly passed away in November 2020. I thank her parents and her family for being amongst us today. Sophia continues not only to be an inspiration to me, but also to many graduating today. Personally, I have a list of all the names of my cohort near my laptop, and on days when I don't feel I could do any more, the names catch my eye. As I read the names, I always stop at Sophia. I remember her wise words of why I came to education, as our goals were the same, to better the lives of not only our children and families, but also the lives of others. Sophia gave me the courage to continue and puts life in perspective. I know Sophia would have achieved a first-class honours degree, so Sophia, this one is for you. My achievement is your achievement, and on behalf of the graduating cohort, I thank you as I know you will continue to inspire not only me, but all of us through our journeys. Finally, once again, thank you and congratulations, class of 2021, you did it. Graduates, Pro Vice Chancellor, distinguished guests, members of the university, family members and friends. Many thanks to our student speaker, Aisha Patel, who did really well, didn't she? And she's speaking on behalf of the graduates. You started this ceremony as graduands, and now after quite a lot of applause and uh, some carefully choreographed walks up and down to the stage, you are graduates. Alumni of the university, the hard work, pay, hard work has paid off, and congratulations to you all. It's an enormous privilege for me to be able to congratulate you all and to witness a sense of joy on your faces and experience the immense pride evident in your family, partners, and friends. They're here to share in this memorable occasion, and your success serves as a testament to this great university, and you should be proud of yourselves as we are of you. As a graduate from the university, you can be confident you're leaving with something in real and lasting value. The University of Birmingham degree is valued by the country's top employers who recognize that the university not only provides an outstanding education, but also equips students in intellectual confidence, knowledge, and transfer transferable skills, the things that are required for them to thrive in their careers and to make a difference in the world. The fundamental value of your degree is what it represents about you, your own personal growth, study, and experiences during your time with us. A, de a degree from Birmingham is not easily obtained. It requires perseverance, tenacity, and personal resilience. And the circumstances in which we've found ourselves in these last two years has called for an even greater level of determination and commitment. Many of you have faced significant personal challenges, whether you recovered from COVID-19 yourself, spent periods in self-isolation, coped with studying or working from home, or took, or took on extra caring responsibilities. Some of you will have experienced the sadness of personal loss. You will know the ways in which the pandemic has affected you personally and you should be proud of all that you've accomplished in the face of the adversity. Your degree is something to be cherished, something which we trust will provide you with a foundation on which you can build the rest of your lives. Today, we welcome you to the University of Birmingham alumni community. Being a graduate of the university means that it's, you're part of a distinguished group that includes Nobel Prize winners, world leaders, Olympic gold medalists, successful entrepreneurs, inspiring teachers, and groundbreaking clinicians. 
but it's the culmination of the many thousands of achievements of all graduates from the university that make our university so great. The achievements that you will make in your careers, the successes you will achieve in your personal lives, the impact you will have on those around you. The university was founded with a clear vision of changing the city of Birmingham and the lives of those living within it. We have a long and proud history of philanthropy. Our founder, Joseph Chamberlain, set about raising the money required to build the university and our famous clock tower from philanthropists. More than 100 years later, we're continuing to fulfill his vision of transforming lives with our fundraising and volunteering campaign, which is called Birmingham in Action. It is an ambitious and innovative campaign which offers life-changing opportunities for young people. And that's so regardless of their background, and it's already supporting a broad range of groundbreaking research projects that will transform the world for future generations. As alumni of the university, we hope it's a campaign you'll be proud of, and I would encourage, encourage you to become involved in it, sharing its impact and becoming part of it as your careers unfold. In this way, you'll continue to help to change the lives of future generations. Wherever you find yourself in the world, you can be assured you'll always be part of the Birmingham family, and we look forward to welcoming you back. We will be here to provide you with advice to support you and celebrate with you as your lives and careers develop. As we draw our graduation ceremony to a close, and you look forward to celebrating away from the pomp and circumstance of today's formal celebrations. Let me close by thanking you for everything you've given to us and to each other during your studies with us. The University of Birmingham would not exist but for its remarkable students. Each one of you has made your own contribution to this institution and left a legacy for the benefit of future generations. The University's motto is per ardua ad alta through effort to high things. Your achievements, which we have celebrated today, embody that principle and should remain an immense source of pride both today and for future years. As you commence this next chapter, I wish you every success and trust that your experiences at Birmingham will continue to shape your lives. Thank you. I declare the congregation closed.